Welcome back trainers and we're going to go ahead and go over the Luminous Y event. Yveltal has arrived, the new legendary, which is going to be dark and flying, as well as us potentially unlocking Galarian shiny Zigzagoon. And it looks amazing. So this event is going to be going down May 18th at 10 a.m. until May 25th at 8 p.m. local time. So take a look at those 12 kilometer eggs. Pancham is going to be in there if you're looking to get some of those candies or a good IV, as well as Dino. Now remember, before you go into this event and try to go hard to try to get a Dino, by all means, go ahead and do so, but don't try to hold it to some sort of super standard of rarity when it does become Community Day. Yeah, you know, see, so it's going to happen eventually, especially for that one. Other than that, you know, go ahead and hunt it down, and remember to TM away frustration from your Shadow Pokemon, folks. TM away frustration on your Shadow Pokemon. You have the entire week. So for the challenge that we have going on here, we have to defeat quite a few Team Go Rocket Grunts, 25 million. So this is going to be happening May 25th until May 23rd. We're also going to be potentially unlocking times three catch XP. So unfortunately not Stardust, but at least it's something. And you're also going to be unlocking the Galarian Zigzagoon, which is going to be also appearing in raids. That thing looks absolutely amazing. I do have a 100 best buddied up it's not xl yet but it's it's a shiny right it looks amazing this one's a little different because it's just so cool now we're also going to have a part two where the new evolution for eevee which is going to be sylveon is going to be introduced and you're going to be able to evolve that via hearts while it's your buddy so it's not like you're going to be able to get an eevee's hearts up you know, get it to Best Buddy or something, and then you're going to be able to evolve it right away. You're going to have to earn those hearts, it seems like. You're also going to have different Pokemon spawning in the wild, as well as those new fairies that were introduced for the last event coming back so you can get some more of those candies if you so need to. Personally, I'm stacked up. That last event was absolutely amazing. Also going to be a good time for you to uh, stack up on EV candies, XLs. You're going to have them all in the raids, so it's going to be a good time to go ahead and do those if you like to and stack up on those candies because we all know XL Umbreon is amazing in the Ultra League. As far as Sylveon, it's it's okay. It's not crazy, but it is going to be pretty nice. So take a closer look here as well as the candies. And of course, like usual, I'll have links down below for all of the sources that I've used, especially Legends. Now let's go ahead and go over the tasks that we're going to be getting the special research here or should I say timed. Now there's gonna be a little bit of a tip I'm gonna have for you when we get into the next bit for those that you do collect. So for the first one, it is gonna be defeat five Team Go Rocket Grunts for Pokeballs. Then the second one is catch five Shadow Pokemon for a Meowth Shiny Potential. Catch five Dark Type Pokemon for a Alolan Rattata. You're gonna get yourself some XP as well as a Stunky. And remember, catching Dark Types is gonna help you evolve your Pancham into Pangoro. And then for two of seven, you have Purify three Shadow Pokemon, and it looks like the new Shadow Starly is only going to cost you a thousand, so that's a little tip to purify that. Next one is going to be Purify five Shadow Pokemon. Purify seven Shadow Pokemon, you're going to get yourself a piece for the Team Go Rocket Leaders. Then for three of seven, you're going to have Defeat the Rocket Leaders, all three of them. Then four of seven, Purify eight Shadow Pokemon, Evolve eight Pokemon for an Eevee, and then earn eight hearts with your buddy. So that's going to be like, you know, do your Sylveon thing for that. It's going to get yourself a lure module rainy one. Now, here's the tip. You may want to hold off on these because you're going to be able to collect these Galarian Zigzagoon, which could be shiny after we do unlock those bonuses. So just a little tip because it could have good IVs. And remember the Starly thing, that is going to be a big help because it starts adding up, purifying all these stinking Pokemon. Defeat eight grunts, all right, and then use an incense for a Galarian Zigzagoon, catch 20 dark type Pokemon for a Sneasel, and then for six of seven, you're going to have complete seven field research tasks, win a raid, catch five different dark type Pokemon for seven of seven, purify 10 shadows, defeat a Team Go Rocket leader three times, and then catch 12 shadow Pokemon. And so there you go. And also a little reminder, Spotlight Hour is going to be May 18th from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m., Featuring a Lowland Rattatat, in which you're going to get times 2 XP for evolving Pokemon. Alright, now taking a look at Yelveltal. I know, I was saying Yelvelta without the L. Somebody said something, so I'll take that constructive criticism and let's say it like that. Alright, so Yelvelto, 100% IV is going to be 2160. Under Foggy, which <laughs> I never see that. 
or windy weather, it is going to be 2701, 100% IV. Okay, so it is going to be week two, electric, rock, ice, and fairy. Yveltal's charge moves are going to be hyper beam, dark pulse, psychic, hurricane, focus blast. So they're all pretty hard hitting moves for the most part. So you can take a look at those counters to the left, but according to Poke Battler top tier attackers, you're going to have Shadow Raikou, Shadow Zapdos, Zekrom, Mega Manetric, Shadow Electivire, and Thunderous Theron form. Taking a look at the next page, we have Shadow Magneton, Shadow uh, Mamoswine, Shadow Gardevoir, Rhyperior, Tyranitar, and Raikou. So, yep, there you go. Go get it. I'm personally going to be doing a ton of these because, yes, I want to make an XL one. Is it going to be good to go up against raids well not necessarily take a look at those raids here that we're going to have for this event and no not necessarily it's not going to be really that great as far as top attackers for dark type it's going to be on the third page on game press as far as dps is concerned as far as a flying type also the third page does that make it horrible why do i want to make an xl because it's pretty cool pokemon and it's also going to be good in pvp in the master league okay there you go that's where it's going to shine and it is actually going to be pretty good its moves are decent so um i'm pretty excited for this pokemon here it's not like i was a huge fan of it before but i always thought it was a pretty cool looking pokemon so here we go into my first yveltal raid and if you're looking at my gardevoir's charge moves thinking what the heck are you doing both of those are not very effective yes i know after this i changed it to dazzling gleam so yeah, oops. <laughs> now I'm having a little bit of trouble on thinking about which one I want to completely max out as far as my Gardevoir. Do I want to go with my Shadow or do I want to go with my 100 Gardevoir? Or do I want to just go with Glade? Uh, because Mega Gardevoir is going to be absolutely amazing as far as a fairy type attacker. It is going to be the best one. As a matter of fact, the Mega Gardevoir is going to be outpacing the Shadow one at a level 50 in which a lot of times the shadow forms are going to be outpacing their megas as far as the DPS damage output is concerned. So I think I may just go ahead and go with the Gardevoir. But as you can see, we're using the Rampardos. It's not going to be the most stable Pokemon to go up against it because it is a very glassy Pokemon like it always usually is. But it is going to be dishing out quite a bit of damage. It is farther down the list but it's time to win is going to be very good so i just decided to put the gardevoir up front just for the fun of it and then the riperior or not the riperior it's the uh, rampardos in the back although you can use riperiors too make sure you do have that rock wrecker because it is going to be a necessity uh stone age i suppose but anyways we're going to be able to take it down here uh i'm not going to try to do a duo i somebody wants to attempt it sure i'm, I'm down to give it a shot but the reason why I did the Mega Alteria is because I had those on hand, had those Metagoss ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the excellent throw. This is my first time at the cast screen, so everything here is fresh. I had no prior practice before this here, so let's see. My first throw, can we get the excellent? And we do on Yveltal, fantastic. Always nice to have that little memory. So it's gonna be breaking out of the Silver Pineout for the first one here. And like usual, I don't like to make those throw videos. It's perfectly fine. If somebody else does, it's all good. But I just, you know, there you go. You, you throw at it. <laughs> you wait for it to attack and you saw how I did it and we caught it there. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll be keeping you up to date. Thanks for watching and take care.
Finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!